Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to Science Class. Why you boys and girls? Okay, today is the last meeting for this this semester, and today we are going to review the material, especially the material for our final test. So I hope you can use this for your preparation for your final test. Okay, let's re remind what we had learned after midterm test. Okay, first we had learned about animals in local habitat. Right, you still remember about this? And the place where a living thing lives is called its habitat. Right? And animal must live in habitat where they can find food, water, shelter, and protection. And these are the examples of habitats. Trees, grass, river, mountain, desert, arctic, rainforest, and so on. Okay? Next topic, we also had that about identification keys. Do you remember what are identification keys? Identification keys are way of identifying living things through a series of questions. Usually, it starts with a general question and then go more specific question. This is the example. So, we can identify or grouping animals. This is the use of identification case. Okay? Next, we also had learned about identifying invertebrates. What are invertebrates? Invertebrates are animals without backbone. Binatang yang tidak mempunyai tulang belakang. Okay? And these are the example. Right? Most of them have three pairs of legs like N, B, and so on and some of them also have more than three pairs of legs like spider, centipede some of them have cell like snail and scallop some of them no legs and no cells like worm, leads and so on okay, this, those are invertebrates right? next topic is about how we affect the environment we had learned about human activities that harmful for the environment and you have seen the video about deforestation and oil spill right deforestation oil spill pollution and illegal logging those are the sample of human activities that harmful to the environment they can kill plants and destroy habitat that Habitat is home for many animals, right? And what we can do to save our environment? We can do uh, plant trees, stop littering, take public transportation, reuse, reduce, and recycle, sorting garbage, something like that, okay? And next topic is about wonderful water. We have learned that humans, animals, and plants need clean and fresh water. And there is water, what we call water pollution, that causes by uh, trash from people littering, waste product from industry and factories, insecticide and pesticide from the farm. Those are the causes of water pollution. And the effects for the animals and plants in the river can die. And people can become sick or die when they drinking polluted water. Okay? Okay, get it? Okay, next topic is about reduce, reduce, and recycle can save the earth. Okay, this is the example. Reduce means mengurangi. Reduce menggunakan kembali and recycle mendaur ulang. Memanfaatkan yang tidak selalu dianggap tidak berguna menjadi berguna. And this is the example of practicing reduce and recycle in daily life. Like use a worse, uh, reusable bag, use a uh, Take public transport and then sort rubbish, something like that. Okay, you can see in here. Next, this is the last chapter in this semester. It's about solids, liquid, and gases. We have that about matter. Matter is everything around us, and matter can exist in three different states: solid, liquid, and gas. Do you still remember about this? 
okay and in this lesson we also had learned that air is mixture uh, some gases the composition of air the 78% is nitrogen 21% is oxygen and 1% is the other gases okay you also have made and exper experiment and experiment making carbon dioxide you still remember about this okay next topic is about matter is made of particles particle is very small part of something bagian terkecil dari benda okay and the particles of solid liquid and gas like this gas this is solid liquid and gas right the particles of solid are close together in very tight fixed position posisinya tidak berubah tetap hanya bergetar saja and then the particles of liquid are close together but do not have fixed position like this they can move around they still can move around. and then the particles of gas are far apart and do not have fixed post fixed position they move they move quickly in all direction bergerak bebas bisa bergerak bebas ini adalah partikel dari solid liquid and gas Oke, okay, you got it? You still remember about this? Oke, okay, next topic is about how do solids, liquid, and gases behave. We have learned about the properties of solid, of a solid, liquid, and gas. Right? And this is related with the particles, the model of particles. Like this. A solid has fixed and fixed volume. Bentuk dan volumenya tetap. And then a liquid has fixed volume but no fixed shape or the, no definite shape. The the shape take shape the container bentuknya mengikuti wadahnya. Oke, okay. you still remember uh, about this uh, demonstration about this? And then and a gas no fixed shape and no fixed fixed volume. Bentuk dan volumenya berubah. And you also have Experiment, experiment, but they try to squash a solid, liquid, and gas, right? And which one is the easiest to squash? Solid, liquid, and gas? And the result is a gas is easiest to squash, right? Paling mudah di compress like that. And then, this one about the properties of solid, liquid, and gas. Then the last topic is about melting, freezing, boiling, and condensation. First, melting atau mencair. Right? Melting happen when a solid change into a liquid when it is heated, right? And the particles, the particles when it is melting is like this, right? They move far away, menjauh. So the matter change from solid into a liquid, right? And the melting point is the temperature at which a substance change from a solid to liquid. Next, this is freezing. Freezing atau membeku. It happens when a liquid change into a solid when it is cooled, right? And the particle animation of the particle is like this: move closer. So the matter change from liquid to solid with closure. Yeah. Okay. And then this one is boiling atau penguapan. It happen when a liquid change into a gas. It happen when it is heated. And the particle are like this. Move far away. Okay. Sampai bergerak menjauh. So the matter change from liquid to a gas. And The boiling point is the temperature at which a substance change from a liquid to a gas, right? Like this. Okay. The last one is about condensation. Condensation happens when a gas changes into liquid when it is cooled, and the particle is like this. They move closer, so the matter change from a gas to liquid. Okay. You got it. Oke, okay, that's all for today. 
This is the review. This is the materials for uh, final test. Final test. Prepare your set. I hope all of you can get maximum score. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.